Hello, my lovely heart. How's everyone feeling this wonderful Saturday? Well, it has been a very interesting seven days. Uh, we're doing the Heart Brain Coherence Challenge. And today we have a very a special guest with us who is willing to share with you her journey on being in coherence and bringing about inner alignment in her life. So uh, without further ado, please first and foremost help me to welcome our coaches who has been very supportive and who has very thoughtfully um, uh, created, designed those challenge tasks for you so that you can find your way into flow and alignment. So first and foremost, let's welcome Dr. Priya. Hi Priya. Hi Joy. How are you How feeling are you? today? I'm good. I'm very good. Mm. Okay, and then now we must say hi to our sound healer Cordelia. Hello Cordelia. Hello. <laughs> yeah, let me guess you must be wearing something related to flower or butterfly? Butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Okay. So uh, now let's welcome our very special guest. The reason why we're all here today because of Gladys. Hi, Gladys. Hi. <laughs> Hi, everyone. We got butterfly now. We got flower. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you good feeling morning, today? Good morning, everyone. No, it's good afternoon already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Nice. Okay. Kind of excited. <laughs> yeah, so this is going to be a fun chat. Uh, so let's all, you know, just jump in. For those of you who's watching, joining in, welcome and good on you for making time to learn and grow together with us. If you have any questions, feel free to put on the comment chat. I will try my best to locate uh, our Facebook Live on my phone. Sometimes it's a challenge. And if you want to comment, throw some love and support, uh, please put your name there as well because uh, I don't always uh, i sometimes i cannot see the who's the one commenting uh, with this stream yard software mm. okay so before we get started i just want to very quickly explain the, um, what the uh, heart brain coherence is and i think the best way for me to do that is to perhaps use the analogy if you watch the video what is heart brain coherence you will be familiar with this analogy of you know like have you ever heard a really beautiful Christmas carol being sung by the talented singers and then suddenly the whole song reached a different level of pure magic when the rest of the choirs come in with their different harmonic elements at a different timing and you realize that everyone is doing their own thing very different thing yet somehow that unison is beautiful and seems perfect exactly the way it should be now that is a perfect example of the magic of coherence so our body and mind are the same we have different system running at the same time some is autonomic meaning that is unconscious operating like your heart beats without you having to pay attention to it your heart just beats right and thank god for that imagine if we have to constantly pay attention in order just for the heart to beat right so we have autonomic system and then we have also um the conscious mind coming in so there's so many different systems running all simultaneously at the same time and some of this system the moment we were born it was there already serving us working hard for us so what happens is that when you can focus on one of this system and bring it into coherence uh, you can this phenomenon called the global coherence can happen meaning that using one system you can help to synchronize the rest into harmony so for example and most commonly when your emotions are maybe you're having depleting emotions you're not feeling so good you can use your breath right it's very common here people say oh use your breath slow down calm down that will calm down your parasympathetic system so that kind of is uh, an example of how you can use one system in your body um, to help bring coherence with the rest of your body so that you can be back in coherence with one another and you can be back at peace and you know your joyful self so that is a very long version of what heart brain coherence is so here obviously we're trying to use the heart and the brain to help you to bring your entire body mind and spirit into coherence coherence so i'm curious what the other coaches what are their definition uh, you know in their own personal way what to them is coherence so perhaps let's start with priya dr priya can you tell us what is heart brain coherence for you so for me um i i feel that the heart which is actually the emotional state of our being 
and uh, when the brains are correlated uh, that means when they are in sync you know um, there has to be a constant or a consistent you know involvement or series of events so this in turn causes you know yourself to be more efficient that means your performance is more um, efficient you are more effective um, your actions your thoughts your behaviors uh, come into togetherness or come into sync as what i said just now and um, you will enhance your overall well-being and if i may quote you joy your joyful living basically comes into into play here <laughs> you know and uh, peak performance i mean these are these are your slogans here yeah? and um, i think i think this is a very apt because um, this challenge as you know uh, incorporates um, cordelia's mindfulness and sound healing as well as well as uh, my my part of the uh, self compassion challenge so i think that itself for me is coherence right there um, so we are actually intertwining um, three wonderful elements okay and coming together okay and um, we are basically coming in sync um, to you know take different aspects of these um, three powerful tools okay and and bringing it out to you so that you know you make the best out of um, all these techniques that, that we are going through with you and um, so when that is in play um, you are one with yourself okay mm. like what you said joy just now you know your brain your parasympathetic nervous system everything comes together okay in one and you are basically um, reflecting that in your actions and your behaviors so for me that is coherence yeah thank you dr priya i i love that phrase i think it's like it so nicely sums everything up right like you are one with yourself like is that not to go for everyone in every moment of living so what about you cordelia what is a uh, coherence for you well for me, it means there's no conflict. There's no conflict between the head and the heart space. And when there's no conflict, that's when harmony will happen. But that doesn't mean you must have a perfect mind. You must have a perfect loving heart. There's no such thing as a You are at peace with yourself, with your thoughts, with your emotions, and also with your surroundings. That's what I mean by no conflict our tools three of us all these will help us to connect even uh, stronger and closer with our senses with our mind with our heart which in turn will impact our body and overall what will happen is that we are becoming more as one then magic happens things will start moving um we will start to feel more joyful more productive even more creative even so these exercises truly will transform your life thank you cordelia i appreciate the fact that you bring um up the idea of perfection you don't have to be perfect in order for coherence to happen so don't oh, yes. stress yourself <laughs> before coherence happens yes you don't have to be perfect for coherence to happen you just need to know certain simple techniques and tricks which is exactly what the seven days uh, coherence challenge is all about so thanks for sharing that and also highlighting that you know uh, the, the the other key idea is basically having no conflict in, in your system having all in alignment and um, so i'm curious for you gladys since uh, you know you have done seven um well, today is day seven and you know, today is day six so you've done six days <laughs> of coherence challenge yeah so what uh what what is your developing sense of what coherence is for you Mm, for me, it's about uh, sometimes like my mind, right, wants to do this, wants to do that to a point like I neglect that I need to sleep. But my heart was like, girl, my heart is pumping so fast. It's like, you need to sleep, girl. You need to calm down. And my brother's like, no, no, I just want to continue work, 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 work. And when this challenge comes in, uh, it is really helping me to sleep better. Like I used to have serious insomnia. Like sometimes I sleep 2 a.m. or sometimes I just lay there until like 4 a.m. I, I I'm still conscious that I cannot cannot sleep at all. But after doing this uh five day challenge so far, uh, today is six, uh it helped me to sleep better and no more uh nonsense like sleeping halfway, then like 4 a.m. wake up to go to go toilet or something. Yeah. Uh, 
Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Glad this is such a powerful, like, you know, in your face, real benefit, right? So we're not talking about this, oh, very technical term, don't know what they're talking about. Like, yeah, thank you, Gladys, for bringing it back to, you know, our daily life. This is one perfect yeah. example where your body, your whole system is in coherence that allows you to sleep throughout the night for a change. So I'm really happy for you. Just six days and that's all it took. And now you're able to sleep. I think that's a big deal because, you know, um, I myself, sometimes I have trouble sleeping as well so thanks oh. for sharing that Gladys hmm. and so okay. as you can see on the banner Gladys like there's some people showing some love to you like oh Gladys just so <laughs> unfortunately I don't know who is that person so thank you all like clearly we're all in coherence together in this moment so I'm loving that as well and someone <laughs> is also showing some love to Dr. Priya somebody loves your t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> Elena and Eileen. <laughs> yeah, so like it looks like we all have to look at your heart space area now because we're trying to read your t-shirt. <laughs> what does it say? <laughs> oh! <laughs> so I'm not what I've done. What I've done. Oh and God. I'm what I've overcome. Whoa! Nice! nice. <laughs> Why do I feel like oh. I'm conducting a, like a girl power club uh, morning <laughs> <weekend> show? <laughs> <laughs> so sorry to the guys in the Hot Asian family, like we just in this moment feels a little bit like that, which is kind of cute. Okay, so thank you everyone for sharing what is your definition of coherence. I hope that was helpful and can uh, uh, make you feel a bit more comfortable with this word. I know it sounds bombastic, but uh, really it's a word that's kind of made popular by Heart Brain uh, Institute. But at the end of the day, you know, it's very personal, just like mindfulness and self-compassion. You, you have your own relationship around it and um, develop and find your own definition that's part of the journey so now let's jump straight into the questions and let's go into gladys experience for the challenge so far so i'm curious gladys from the very beginning what made you join the challenge in the first place what was your goal my goal is to try to learn how to relax and calm down because of work like too much stress and especially after to back meetings my brain is like haywire and usually after meetings they give me like impossible tasks to do and i'm like Papa, how to how to how to complete all these impossible tasks and um this week has been a lot of meetings as well but i did uh all the tasks some tasks was uh okay okay la. sometimes were really he helpful and it really helped me to calm down a lot so far Any um, comments from you, Cordelia? Do you understand why you're able to be more relaxed now? Why? Mm, I focus on the breathing part, lah. Focus and yeah, yeah, yeah. I I noticed uh, before this challenge, right? <clears throat> my breath is very short, very short mm. and like shallow one. Cannot go very deep. Then it's like. Haven't breathed in already, breathe out. <laughs> and then uh work wise <clears throat> also like that law, like very kanjong, have to rush here, rush there. Yeah, but when I do the do the challenge, I start to focus on my breathing and tapping the stress away that one. And yeah, it helps a lot. But sometimes like at work, uh when nobody is around, like I will listen to music and then work also. Uh, Dr. Priya's advice is also useful. I listened to, I, I actually didn't look for any, what is that called? Self-compassion song. But I I, I currently kind of uh, like this song. Uh, it's like a Vietnamese song. I, I inquired my Vietnamese friend, what is this song about? And she's like, oh girl, it's Chinese New Year song. I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't understand the lyrics at all. But it's like a very happy song and it makes me feel like happier la when i do my work yeah 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 <laughs> i think the idea the idea behind the songs was just um if it's not the lyrics per se because for me i'm a very lyrical person so i go in depth and that is why my my songs are very self-compassionate you know in that order but uh, um, i think for anybody it could be the beat and i think for joy when she shared yeah, yeah. Um, on the facebook page and she said that you know it was more of her shakti uh what fire on shakti was it was that 
was that correct, Joy? Yeah. yeah, Shakti on fire. So, you know, I think different <laughs> people have different interpretations of um, what kind of a playlist they would like to indulge in. So I think for you, Gladys, it was the Vietnamese version of the yeah. Chinese song. <laughs> but you know what? I mean, the, the, the aim of this whole thing is for you to be at peace with yourself, for you to be in coherence with yourself, you know, one with yourself. So you you have nailed it regardless, you know. So for me, I think um, that's, that's, that's powerful in itself, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, you, thank you. Uh, Gladys, earlier you mentioned about the breathing part. Yeah, so, so. My, yes. so my part of the exercises is to help, uh, you know, someone like you to start retraining your breathing. Many of us, because of commitments and responsibilities, especially in time, we're always in a rush. And when you're rushing, then our breath becomes faster and shallow. And that's what also causes us to be feeling anxious, insomnia, and so forth. So for you, once you know how to manage your breathing, and slowly it will start to influence your mind to be calmer, your heart to be more open, and your body to be less uh, tension. So it's good that it's in effect uh, on you, and it's not just theory. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Mm. Thank you. So, um, so I finally locate our live on the Facebook group. So basically, uh, the one that was uh, cheering you on with this, that was Elena. Um, the one commenting on the t-shirt, that was Eileen. So all the E's are showing up today. <laughs> Okay, I just want to acknowledge our lovely who are joining us today. Mm, so I I loved how like this conversation. I really can see like every everyone having different definition. Like we we know already we have brought on self compassion. For me, it's that playlist. And if you if you scrutinize my playlist, you will see that it's very fierce self love, right? Which uh, Christine Love has also talked about. That like uh, I think for me, fierce self love means like you know like you're really committing, I am going to love myself, right? So that's the energy that works for me. But um, when I first started on a self-compassion journey, when I had no idea what it means because nobody around me practiced self-compassion, I don't see it in my parents and so on, right? It, it wasn't this energy, right? At that time, when I first started on my um, self-compassion journey, it was a very ge gentle one because I wasn't even sure where to begin. So it was more like a gentle energy at that time, but because I've been on this journey for some years already, so it has even evolve into this fiercer energy. So self-compassion can be different for different people in terms of the energy. And also the other thing is in that moment, how you're feeling. Maybe in that moment, what you need is not fierce self-love. You're going to scare yourself, right? Maybe in that moment, what you need is some gentleness, right? Some self-love that, you know, gives you the image of a, a flower or so on. So, you know, it, there's no right or no wrong. Just trust your the wisdom of your heart at the end of the day. So... I am checking comments. So Vimala is here as well. Oh, oh hi Vimala. I love, I love it. Everyone's showing oh, up. So beautiful. Hi. Thank you, Vimala. <laughs> okay, so so now moving on. So okay, so your goal was to learn to relax and to have a calm mind. Clearly, you did because you are even able to sleep now, which was a, a challenge for you before the challenge. So <laughs> that's awesome. So how has the experience been? Uh, for you being intentional about bring more harmony and alignment within yourself, how how has it been like so far? Mm, so far, uh, the initially the challenge was a bit hard for me, especially the first task uh, by by Joy, the one like uh, touch my heart and feel feel myself that well, I didn't like it, not not because I didn't like your touch, I didn't like my heart because it's like. I have been avoiding to feel myself. Eh. I know myself is like very clouded. My mind and my heart are very clouded one. Like clouded by the tasks, by the issues, like family, friends, personal and work issues. And what I do is I would usually, sometimes I meditate or sometimes when I don't meditate, then I listen to songs, or I play guitar. So it's like all this, right? If I meditate, I also like meditate don't too long because I know myself is not in harmony and I try to avoid it. <laughs> Guilty as charged. <laughs> and uh, um, slowly, slowly, I think 
on day two, day two it began to uh improve better la. Uh, especially the uh yeah tapping part and the breathing part. I I do like a combo together. I breathe mm. and I tap. <laughs> it works eh. And mm. yeah, and I do it before I sleep so that I can sleep better. But when nice. I wake up, I I didn't do that. I just straight go to work. But I want to tell myself that maybe next week, right? I want to try like doing daytime and nighttime. Both Great. Lah. Great. Uh, um, thanks, Gladys, for sharing and for your honesty as well. I think we appreciate that. Um, I love it that it was difficult for you because that was <laughs> one of my evil plan. For some people, we just have this thing about touching, <laughs> right? And then the, especially if it comes to touching ourselves, like a big no-no, right? Because and you know why yourself, right? It could be slightly different for everyone. Like you say, meditate also cannot too long. You know why. You, I know this, why. Yeah, right? Like you're like, you're scared of your own heart. You don't want to go near for whatever reason. Right? We all have been through different kind of traumas in, in our life. So that's why you will notice that uh, when it comes to my challenge, day one was just hartation breath. Simply place your hand on your heart and breathe. As you can see, that is already difficult for someone just to put your hand there, which is your own body. It's like, no, no, right? The mind already coming in and resisting. You can feel that resisting energy. And that's why I persist with um, day two tasks. They are actually planned, designed that way where I say, now let's have a longer version of that. Let's do hartation morning pals right? which now you not only have to put your hand there you have to do a series of things with your hand still there right it takes longer hoping that you know um we can push that um push you out of your comfort zone a little bit now that it's day two maybe now the mind has come around to it okay okay fine i'll try so it's mm -hmm. different for everyone and i appreciate that you are discovering your own version because at the end of the day we're all different we don't know which uh, techniques work for which one of you and it's not our job to be honest to find out it's your job to do it and then say okay i like this this work uh this one is uh, maybe it works but huh, i'm resisting right is to have that kind of self-awareness and then i love that you are like designing your own thing oh tapping with breathing works for me excellent uh, you are fulfilling the purpose of the challenge just learning the tools level one awareness level two then level three design your own Hartation too. Hartation is di uh, different mm. for everyone. So you're already yeah. doing that uh, with no instruction. You're like intuitively, your heart already coming in to help you. Oh, I think you should maybe try it this way, that way. And I noticed that you mentioned tapping twice. So it seems like uh, it uh, is something that works for, for you. And I'm very happy about it because tapping to me is like, you know, so convenient. All you need is your fingers, right? You don't need any special equipment. And you can just uh, tap your own body system. So I'm glad that already you're finding some tools that are helpful. And then you are like mixing and matching. Like you are designing your own hartation technique. So well done on that part. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, what's your thought? Well, um, glad is all I can say is welcome welcome to this challenge the three of us our aim is <laughs> our aim is literally to see someone like this you know come and say you know what your task is hard but hey you know what it's good it's it's waking me out and pulling me out of my comfort zone so this is literally self-discovery you're discovering yourself in more ways than you should and i'm so glad this has happened for you you know because i think you were in a place where as you said your your very words were clouded okay so it's literally taking you out from those clouded thoughts and putting you it's basically challenging yourself okay to sit and embrace things that you have probably never thought of doing so mm -hmm. you know i think um i'm very 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 happy to hear that you know as much as you find the the task difficult especially joy's task was difficult that shows that you've taken that perseverance and you are using it to your best ability and as you go along in this journey even after the challenges are over you know you will continue to enhance whatever knowledge that you've learned from the three of us and you know continue to use it to your best ability so bravo <laughs> thank you dr priya <laughs> i want to say something uh gladys I, I wish to say you should uh, thank yourself for challenging yourself to take on this challenge. <laughs> yeah, it was not easy. It was not easy. Right. And sometimes I, uh, it, uh, I think Joy mentioned like uh, ten, in 24 hours I had to set alarm and all right. The alarm rang. Uh, 
when I'm in the meeting, or I'm like, say lo, how ah? <laughs> how should I like? Then I just ignore lo. I cannot. I cannot do it when I'm in the meeting. But then, uh, I remember every night I have to do it lah. It's a challenge, really. And somewhere in the meeting, I sometimes I have to speak or I cannot do the breathing method. Like someone is like pissing me off. I'm I have to like. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot like do the deep breathing. They they're like, Gladys, are you okay? <laughs> So I have to like wait until the end of the day, then only like yeah, do the deep breathing and all. <laughs> mm. So mm. Gladys, I want to share another tip with you when it comes to uh, EFT tapping. You can't uh, if you're in a in if for whatever reason you can't physically tap, you can use your imagination. If you have tapped it often enough, you know mm. how it feels like the sensation of tapping on your forehead. It feels like this. It feels like this. Right? If you do this often enough, you intuitively know how it feels like when you're tapping the different um, points. So you can tap because the whole point is to tap away your stress, right? So if in that moment yeah. something's um, uh, triggering you, you can imagine the tapping. If you can't physically tap, you can always tap it later if there's residue, um, because the mind cannot differentiate between what's real and what's being imagined. So take advantage of the power of your imagination and of course the more vividly you can imagine that sensation um, the more effective it's going to be so um so the next time if something is triggering you and you can't tell do your breathing right breathing is something you can do and they don't have to know they, they won't notice anything different but you can imagine you're tapping as you breathe in the moment where you're in a meeting with um with other people so completely mm. doable Try it for yourself and see if it works. Keep an open mind, which clearly you have. Um, try it a few times. Um, the more familiar you are, like uh, the more experience you have tapping physically, ac actual tapping, the easier the imagination will, will be for you. And uh, someone is showing you uh, encouragement. Uh, Eileen is saying good work. <laughs> oh, thank you, Eileen. Yeah. I love, I love that. Caring, so many caring hearts in our community. So what challenge stood out for you so far, Gladys? And what did you realize through the process? Oh, this one, uh, this one made me cry. Eh? <laughs> yes, I know. So uh, take a deep breath. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I love the way she takes a deep breath, so elegant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow, well, this one, uh, how to say, yeah. Uh, Mm. First of all, Dr. Priya's one um um the song ma, so I look for like I go through a few playlists la. And one of the song is about uh it's also Mandarin song. And I understand the lyrics by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's about childhood and I cry uh because uh it's more of like innocence law it's not much about self-compassion anyway but it's like innocence and i realized like when we are like among adults and in this society like the innocence slowly slowly being rubbed off fading away and yeah and then makes me a bit sad la. like cannot be that innocent anymore and also uh uh, the what ah I, I don't know which day is adding is day three. Cordelia's task was uh smile to your face, uh mouth everything. Smile to my face, everything is like I feel like myself, I, I'm glowing like an angel. <laughs> but then like towards my hands, right? I started to feel like some hot energy here, uh in my palms, and then I I, I opened my eyes and I looked in my palms and I started crying. Because I thought of like, I'm I'm 25 years old by the way this uh this year, and I thought of like, wow, my mom carried me in her tummy for like nine months. Without her, I wouldn't I won't be here. And to carry me in her tummy for nine months is really not easy. It's like what they will vomit. I uh pregnant pregnancy lah will vomit la. A lot of stuff is going on. And then if she didn't take care of herself properly, then maybe I will be cha cha also. And she gave birth to me um, in a lot of pain as well. And I, I feel like crying more. It's like, wow, not that easy. Eh? And then throughout the, these years, 25 years, and uh, my family is taking, taking good care of me. I'm also taking good care of myself. And I still have hands. 
Yeah, I don't know why when I talk about hands, I want to cry. It's like, without my hands, I cannot do design, I cannot do anything, okay? Then I'm like, oh, I, I, I tend to push myself too hard sometimes. Like, even though I did my best at work, I still, like, beat myself so hard, like, I'm not good enough. But when, when Cordelia's uh, challenge, that one, I really cried, lah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, um, that smiling okay um smiling to yourself exercise i feel that we don't do that enough we tend to smile for others um, yeah. our friends our lovers <laughs> you know and um, we very rarely smile to ourselves especially smiling to our body yeah I mean, think about it. Do we smile, acknowledging and appreciating our physical part? Whether we are upset, whether we are stressed, whether we are happy in whichever state we are in, whether we are having eight hours of sleep or three hours of sleep, our physical heart is still beating for us. We are living because of physical heart so it's good that if you are able to appreciate it it's like smiling feeling your physical heart and say thank you yeah to your heart thank you so much i'm yeah, crying <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cute you have really yeah to our body i think many of us very rare we do that, even myself. And much later in life, I start to learn to appreciate my physical organs. Uh, you know, because of my intestines, you know, my toxins are being purged out, you know, it's clearing. Uh, because of my lungs, I'm able to breathe. And so many reasons. And I find when I start appreciating myself, especially my body parts, I feel more more lighter i think my body is responding back if you start thinking negatively life is not worth living why should i bother to wake up do you not think the body will also start to follow you will follow your words and next thing you know you find yourself getting uh, sicker really falling sick emotionally you become more uh, maybe more anxious or easily sad it's because we keep talking down to ourselves or it, this is the worst case scenario i don't like my body i don't like my face i'm too short i'm ugly i'm not pretty i have too many pimples this is negative self-talk i have done it before i admit it and i learned how damaging it is. So I start to unlearn it. I start mm -hmm. telling myself, thank you for being here. Yes, I am aging, but I think I am aging good. <laughs> uh, thank you, my body, for being here with me during the best of times and the worst of times. And you will find there will be lesser conflict between the mind and the heart space. Because when both of them are more connected, more in harmony, automatically the body would also respond in a harmonious way. So our challenges is designed for all that. Start looking deeply into ourselves. Are we lifting up ourselves? Are we making the best of us? So, I'm very happy to see that making you aware. I mean, I didn't expect that you will start having realization of your mother's sacrifice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. You're the first. <laughs> I did not expect that as well. <laughs> but I guess. I, I presume maybe this is something that your body wants your mind to be more aware of. 
because you're smiling to your body parts and you are responding the body is responding replying back to you that's why you're having all these mm. you can say signs or messages mm. and i would say if you do it again it may not have the same impact it may have a different impact so yeah. it can do it again. thank you for sharing <laughs> 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 so, um, as a chemotherapist, I want to support what Cordelia just said. Um, you know, your words are very powerful. Language, right? Language is how we communicate. So, when you say something, uh, your, your mind will take it wholesale. So, when you say, we look at the mirror and then you say, you know, what about why? Why my breast so small? Why why my eyes so small? Right, and it, there's this energy of discontent or unhappiness, and then your 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 mind will then obey what you're saying. Okay, oh, so this is not good. Okay, so what's going on is not good, and we often look at the mirror and what do we see? All the imperfection, the so-called imperfection, the imperfection that we we, we have perceived. Uh, we very seldom see, oh, what a beautiful person I am, and so on and so forth. So uh, changing the self-talk is a great way. And um, there is this wired negativity bias that we have. We, we're just wired to be negative because it helped us to survive till so long. It works. It was an effective tool. But we don't live in a jungle anymore. Unfortunately, the mind is still as negative as it used to be. So we have to make extra effort to bring um, ourselves back into balance. So it's not about being overly positive. It's just to be aware that we are wired to be negative. So you do need to make some effort until it becomes a, a part of who you are, until you have habitualized it. You do need to make extra effort to be a bit more positive every day. It's a choice. It's about mindfulness. And what I loved about Cordelia's exercise and this uh, body part uh, meditation, as you can see, it immediately cut the critical self-talk in the mind. Right, because you activated your heart and then you asked your heart to um, show gratitude to all your different parts. And this is a renewing, uh, gratitude is a very powerful renewing emotion. Right, It renews, as the word implies, it generates more and more. So in your case, very interesting and uh, I think very beautiful. It, it expanded outwards towards other people because now you had enough love because you were showing love to your body. Now you had enough love and that love just very naturally expand outwards immediately. Now you feel like, oh my gosh, I feel so grateful for my mother, right? Mm. You didn't expect it. Like uh, most of us probably wouldn't expect this, but so beautiful, <laughs> so um, personal, so personal, right? And you that's a wonderful example of like how you can just use simple tools like that. You already come back in coherence. And you see that coherence doesn't stay with you, right? Our energy expands out. So when we're feeling negative, other people around us can feel it. When we're feeling positive, people around us, around us can feel it we don't have a choice we are energetic beings so the way for world peace really is inner peace it sounds like oh not something nice to say but it's factual and um, you know it's also science-based like you know our personal electromagnetic waves you know affecting those around us so thank you for sharing what an interesting story and i think that you really highlighted the power of what we're doing here it's not just uh, fun to do but you know if you just trust the process be willing to be a little bit uncomfortable you see what whatever your path is supposed to be that path of transformation it just simply unfolds before you so thanks for sharing yours with us it's uh, really kind of special yeah <laughs> Thank you. So now let's talk about the obstacle, right? What was the ob biggest obstacle for you in terms of uh, for doing the challenge? How did you manage your obstacle? Hello. Uh, sorry, can you repeat? I, I was slagging okay, a bit. So, <laughs> don't worry. So what was your biggest obstacle in doing this challenge? You know, every day you had to do certain tasks. And how did you manage to overcome those ob obstacles that you had? Oh, oh, yeah. I answered the discussion too early just now. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, in the morning, I don't uh, do the task because either I forgot or uh, until Cordelia was like, hey, how was your task? I'm like, go task me. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm still <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, when I check on the post, right, it's a little bit weird because like on the phone, uh, you check, uh, I think I have to click on just normal post. I'll be able to see uh, that Joy tag us, the, 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 the participants. Uh. But usually I use my laptop. I use my laptop. Uh, why cannot find one? Then I'm like, ah, never mind. I, I'll just do it at the end of the day. So yeah, that's my obstacle. Law. And then 
I think I think I don't know which day uh, I came across your post saying that I have to click on announcement if I'm on my phone lah. Only can see the post. Then yeah, there was a bit late already when I discovered that. <laughs> I already missed out some tasks, but I still do la. And um, uh, the back-to-back meeting law, that one, yeah. And your suggestion is uh, imagine it, yeah. When I'm talking, it's hard to imagine la. Like like in, during the meeting, like got four to five people, I have to talk about my opinion. Then I cannot imagine. But when I'm quite ready, I can do it la. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yes, so um, uh, the Facebook group is kind of um, designed that way. So I, I understand, oh, yeah, I also don't understand why. Because sometimes I myself have, to have uh, challenges growing and trying to find the, the task for the day. So that's why I said, you know, that's why I always make sure it's tagged with the topic label, seven days hard brain coherence challenge. And it's always tagged as the announcement. And also the other thing is uh, we have the WhatsApp broadcast list, which is um, because it's not community based, it's a broadcast list, it's not a group chat. So uh, nothing gets lost, only the daily task, the debrief and so on is. So it's more like a, the, the broadcast list is a bit more announcement-like rather than a community. The Facebook group is, um, there's this added element of community. So if you are in a broadcast list, then you would be uh, receiving that every morning so i'm not sure if you are in the broadcast no so I, if, i'm not yeah so if you want to be the broadcast list you can add this number to your phone you, you need to save the number oh. you need to save the number and then uh, text the number let me know that you want to be inside the broadcast list yeah okay yeah. okay so that's an, another um added uh, support that we have to ensure that you you get to your task okay so, um, Priya, anything you want to add on? Um, I think this is very admin related, so that's your forte, Joy. So, uh, <laughs> admin. <laughs> admin related, yeah. So, um, I think you're the technical support behind this whole thing. So, I think, yeah, I think, I think Joy has already explained what you needed to know. I think in terms of your obstacles. So, I'll just, I'll just go forward with the, with the next few questions, yeah. Mm. So yes, yeah, so this broadcast list probably will um, can help to solve this problem because I only post I don't really post anything much extra other than the two days task, the debrief question, um, um, maybe one additional information about hard brain coherence. That's it. So it's cleaner in that sense. Uh, you just have to go to the WhatsApp for clarification. Mm. It's it's the same thing that I post on both sides. Okay, so. What has been most interesting or in, insightful for you? Insightful, lah. Everything, ah. <laughs> insightful. Uh, I think I answered most of the. I, yeah, my answer so, is like, uh, I came out already. You did like, mention I about the early. playlist. Yeah, you did the mention playlist, about the uh, playlist. Oh uh, yeah, then, the, the the playlist, uh like the Vietnamese song, it makes me feel very energetic, law. Uh like sometimes uh I I sleep better, yes, but still around like 1 a.m. 2 a.m. I sleep. And then in a way it's still lack of sleep, but better sleep than before. It's like mm. I don't struggle as much anymore. And mm. something extra to you. Yeah, because this morning I also did the challenge. Apart from the uh from the music part, um this morning I did the task and then I realized that um I've been putting myself in a lot of pain uh back in 2018. And I tried to like reconnect with certain people. I want to say sorry to them, and I feel a lot of pain. I, I I mean like how to say ah, uh, uh, it's like I did something wrong lah. Like uh, me and this friend are are on like good terms, then suddenly I just went MIA on him, and it's very unfair to him. And he's like, wait, where where is Gladys? Why is she just gone like that? And he actually came and find me, but I just like 
avoid him like i feel like he's a stalker <laughs> like how did you even find my office address how did you even find me and uh i tried to reach out to him i say hey uh, after after one year plus i say hey i'm sorry for doing that um please forgive me lah yeah for just going mia on you because i was just not comfortable uh hanging out with him anymore i just went mia on him it's very unfair and i regret it when i did that i just want to say sorry but i didn't want to reconnect with him i don't know how to say to him like and this morning the task was like it's trying to tell me it's okay lah. It's like if you want to say sorry to that person, it doesn't really have to like um say sorry to that person, you know, verbally. You just have to like forgive yourself first for doing the 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 shitty stuff to him. But then um, yeah, I still regret it law. <laughs> Can someone help me? Yeah? <laughs> I think uh I think the ultimate aim here is um, the very fact that you're able to admit to your failures. Um, that itself is, you know, a strong point. You know, we because we never admit to ourselves that we are wrong. You know, um, none of us can actually accept failure if you look at it. So I think the idea behind um, initially the self-compassion challenge that we did last uh, month, and also now with all three together under one banner, uh, the aim was basically. Um, to tell yourself that it's okay that I'm wrong. It's okay that I make mistakes. It's okay. The fact is you have to accept that, you know, you do make mistakes. We are only but human. So for you to realize that um, in the course of these couple of days that you brought back to a past memory, the one, the event that you had with your friend, um, you know, the, that made you realize in the moment that, you know, okay, I... I forgive him and I forgive myself for feeling that way and it's fine and then you just move on from that okay because at least you have the realization you have the awareness before this you were literally running away from you know the situation yes, yeah. yes, yes so now yes. you're you're being able to accept the fact that you know yeah I felt that way but it's okay there's nothing wrong with it you know mistakes are good mistakes mistakes are good for us to move on to the next phase you know the problem starts only when we sit in that zone and think about it or overthink it or overgeneralize the whole thing, then you are literally building a negative bubble for yourself. Okay, so the positive side of things is that, you know, you're able to move on from this. Okay, mm -hmm. so I think, um, I think that's the beauty of um, the challenges that we actually put across to you and to the whole community. Um, whether it's, it's Joy Stars or My Stars or, or Cordelia Stars, I think, uh, I think we have one main aim the main aim is, you know, it's okay to be imperfect. It's, you know, you are not going to be perfect anyway till from the day you were born to the day you, you leave the earth. You're not perfect and you never will be, but it's fine. It's okay. Yeah. 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 It's okay. You are you and that, that makes you unique. So, you know, I'm glad that you have taken that and, you know, understood that and, you know, probably in the future, you use this um, for whatever situation that you're in, you use this to your advantage where, you know, you always tell yourself it is okay. Um, put your hand on your heart, you know, or I think some of, um, I think Cordelia's day three task, as much as it resonated with you uh, about the crying, I think rem I remember telling this to Cordelia when we were reviewing each other's videos. And I think the day three task actually stood out for me the most as well. Okay, oh. where I did, I did feel, yeah, I, I did feel a lot of, um, um, grief because i think um, I've, I've never done sound healing before until cordelia came into this platform and you know i started following um you know all her, her actions and her techniques and um before this if probably a year ago if someone told me something like this i'll be like okay yeah you know it might it might not work for me but you know when i actually did it i really felt a sense of letting go of myself because, because i i hold on to a lot of things just like how the rest of us do and it's okay. I realized that it's okay, but I need to just move on from that. You know, I, I cannot hold on to something for too long, feel really, you know, bad about it, you know, and then just sit and dwell in yeah. that moment. I can't do that. Yeah. So sometimes all these tools and techniques kind of really bring you out into that realization that, yeah, you know, it's time to move on from that. It's okay. It's fine. I made a mistake. It's good. It's fine. Yeah. 
So I hope, yeah, I hope, I hope that gave you a little bit of insight. You know. Yes. Yes. Yeah. This morning, it also uh, it uh, it, it brings me a message. It's called value. Uh, it, I cried a bit lah, and then I was like, first of all, no more crying. I need to prepare for the live interview already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, really. The um, I cried because um, uh, during the task, I think of my old bad habits and the old toxic personality of mine. And I was like, um, uh, I remember uh, Cordelia and Kat used to tell me one thing. It's like, uh, at this moment, you are good. But I did ask them, like, can I be better? Or there's no way I can be worse, right? That time I asked them this question, I was like, what, 18 or 19? Then now now I'm like 25, I'm like, girl, are you stupid? Huh? Of course, la, a person can be worse or, or better. It's your choice, ma. I thought there's no way I can be worse. But that time when I was 18, I was like, yeah, confident, like, confirm will improve fun. But when I was at 23 years old, my 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 life went downhill la, because of um, the terrible choices I've made. And this morning, the task uh, makes me reflect and realize that I used to have uh, very, very bad values. And the values that I had in like 2018, and the values I have now are very different. And when I try to like, not to say reconnect back with my bad habit, like it's like try to uh, mesmerizing a, a, a bit. La. And I cried because I was like, why? Why would I put myself through so much pain? And uh, the old Gladys, uh, her values with my old, my, my, the new Gladys value is very different now. And I would like to continue to improve myself. La. Like, I literally thought a person won't go down to you, won't go worse. 18 years old, me, I, I was like, I, I was, I remember Kat told me, yes, you can be better, you can be worse. I was like, yeah, man, won't, la, won't be worse one. La. So confident. See, I was so innocent back then. When <laughs> literally, I hit the rock bottom and I'm like, okay, I had to pick myself back up and here I am, law, still trying to improve law. Yeah. Gladys, thank you for being so brave and being so vulnerable. You're sharing very private stuff and really like, you know, wearing your heart on your sleeve. And um, I really appreciate all this that you're sharing because you never know who you're going to impact with your personal stories. And also, oh. I want to um, invite you to write in your Heartbrain Coherence Diary because it seems to me like you have so many reflections and realizations about yourself and these are very precious. I think you mm. should record them and then so that when you finish the challenge or you know you can uh, look back three months from now at all these things that you have realized, right? And that will give you an even deeper realization at that point where you read what you were feeling during this challenge so if you can capture everything in one place you know in a heartbreak coherence diary then there's a very powerful gift that your future self is going to thank you for so i would like to invite you to think of maybe there's one hour that you can block off or something like that you know during this weekend where you can just sit and go through every challenge again and try and remember all that you felt and what are the new realizations that you're feeling as you are writing about the realization you had this week. Uh, I think that is um, powerful and help you to go deeper, maybe help you to have some closure as well, maybe have some clarity about what actions you want to take moving forward. I also mm. want to highlight that um, you have also demonstrated the power of just doing the work every day, just 10 minutes or 15 minutes doing the task every day in just six short days. I'm amazed at how your coherence is not just within your system. Clearly that you, you, you have this coherence when it comes to relationship as well, feeling gratitude for your mother um, because of her, you have the healthy body that you have now, feeling the need to uh, apologize and ask for forgiveness from a friend, you know, like... Um, and, mm all the actions you take in the past that might have hurt other people. I, I myself, like, you know, we, we created this challenge, but I am amazed at how it has helped you. Like, you know, it has expanded beyond yourself into a relationship with other people. I think that's truly 
actually beautiful. Um, the last thing I want to comment and uh, maybe invite you to do is perhaps have some kind of meditation with your younger self because your younger self came into the picture and your younger self was having this beautiful um, innocence, right? Like, uh, of course, I always yeah. be better. I wouldn't be worse. I think there's some beauty there, isn't it? Because your younger self is so confident, full of hope and optimism. No, the future me will be so good. So perhaps, you know, have some meditation, close your eyes, you know, do some heartation breath and talk to your younger self. It's because of your younger self that you are who you are today, right? It's a progress. There is no like, oh, that self was better. Or, there's no comparison. It's you. It's all the different parts of you. So maybe you can have some uh, coherence as well with your inner child, right? With the younger self, uh, so full of love. Maybe show some gratitude to your younger self as well. Your younger self have uh, led you to who you are today, which is this beautiful heart that is opening your heart to share with us all these amazing uh, truths that you're realizing for yourself. So uh, I want to say um, thank you. Like I didn't expect this uh, Facebook session to be so magical. <laughs> you are making it so magical for all of us. So thank you, Gladys. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for suggesting though to meditate uh, with my younger self. I would never thought of that. Eh. Yeah, it's a good suggestion. I don't know why when you talk about a younger self, I started crying. <laughs> yes, I think those tears are like unsaid words. I think it's time to say them. It feels like I always depreciate my younger self. Like, why are you so innocent? You see, because your innocence at 23 years old, you made such a big mistake. And here's where you are. But from the point of view that you just said, it's like trying to appreciate la, what I did. Yes, because of my innocence, I did some bad choices, but it also has its own good side. Ma. Don't yes. beat myself so hard. La. Yes. <laughs> so your inner child is a part of who you are, right? We all have different parts. So the innocence is still with you. So you can take the beautiful part of the innocent and uh, be a part of your present self, right? Whichever part of the innocent that you think is um, you know, maybe a, a, a bit dangerous, you can leave that behind. It's, it, it's all parts of you. You can choose which parts that you want to cultivate, right? which part belongs to the past. It's you. You have full power. So it's it, just have that conversation with the inner child and have that closure and uh, be in alignment with the inner child. It's not like this person is outside me. It's a part of who you are. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> So moving forward, Gladys, how do you intend to continue to cultivate this harmonious relationship with yourself? Uh, first of all, I will need to continue with the exercises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <What's going on? laughs> we don't continue. <laughs> Later, Insomnia come back again. Wow. And uh, continue uh, cultivating the good habits law and uh, just this morning, I realized that uh, it oh oh uh, I just realized that um, since MCO until now la, I have changed a lot a lot. I'm a very outgoing person. Like if if because MCO no choice, I have to stay at home. If like no MCO, you won't you won't be able to see me at all. I will be like oh hang out with my friends, gone missing, always not at home one. But I, when I'm home, I'm trained. I am forced to like, oh my God, I need to reflect myself. And I slowly went from a very outgoing person to like snail. I'm very comfortable in this shell. I did a, a lot of self-reflection, which leads me to apologizing to people. And also I, I pick up some new skill, which is playing guitar and uh, studying. And also... Uh, Sometimes they can lead me to overthinking as well. Lah. Like from <laughs> self-reflection, this self-reflection and this is overthinking. <laughs> and it's like quite tough lah. when I tend to overthink, I'll talk to my friend and he will try to tell me like, no girl, you're doing okay. And um, um, yeah, lah, this morning I just realized that uh, I, I, I've been... It's, it's been a long way. La. I still find myself stuck in like 2018 like that. Like, wow. 
um, I did a lot of mistakes. That's why I'm I'm here like like that and um, still trying to face uh, the challenges lah. Like. And uh, I believe like one week of this challenge is not enough. One or have to consistently doing it so that maybe one day, like you say, I can get a closure from my younger self and really let go and be at peace with what happened in twenty eighteen lah. What is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I I hope that y'all don't delete the post and the tutorials because I need to follow. <laughs> Please don't delete or kick me off the group so that I can continue follow the uh, guidance lah. And uh, mm, I'm more than willing to share lah my experiences with my friends or with the coaches, which is three of you. Uh, and what else ah? Maybe I should really think of a, a self compassion song now. <laughs> <laughs> no, some Vietnamese ching chong ling long Chinese. Yeah, so we are going to hold you accountable for what you just declared on Facebook Live. That's how we will be waiting for your <laughs> compassion playlist. So please share. And also, please share the Vietnamese song now. I'm very curious. <laughs> what is this song that is so catchy that makes you feel good? So, any advice uh, from the coaches? Oh, Gladys. Well, Gladys, I want to say from all your sharing, I'm very proud of you. You have matured greatly. You have, I feel that you have become more humble. You are willing to admit your mistakes to those who you have hurt. This is something. This is something big. So I, I do applaud you for your courage and especially to start being kind to yourself. Don't be too hard. All of us have made mistakes. All of us, we are all flawed people. We are not perfect at all. We have fallen many times and we have lived up ourselves many times. This is a process of life. Don't apologize for living. Don't apologize for the mistakes even. Because all this will make us grow as a person. And all this makes us human. Why are we apologizing uh, apologizing for being human? It's a process of growing up. So when you learn from this, you will grow. You will thrive and you will become better. And what if you don't? I want to say this. It's okay. It's okay. Give yourself some space. And then when you're ready, stand up again and move forward. Life is like a roller coaster. It has its highs and its lows. It's not easy to say this, but being in each moment of the high and low, for each high and low will awaken us, the strength of us, the beauty of us. Don't think the challenges in life and the, and the mistakes will only bring us down. It will only bring us down when you don't learn. So Gladys, I've known you since you are, um, you are I think 17 or 18. Yes. You have grown so beautiful now. Mm-hmm. You have grown so yes, but mm-hmm. you will continue to grow. All right? Let me so hard. Thank you. <laughs> Gladys, my 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 heart goes out to wish i could hug you, <laughs> you, <know>? oh, <laughs> you. yeah <laughs> you um i presume these are all tears of joy and happiness okay um there's nothing for you to feel um sorry about you should be very proud of where you are today um sometimes all those mistakes or you know all those things that have happened in your life only make you much better today all right and in the future as well um i believe for me my motto has always been 
um, you know, and this is something I realized very late in life. Um, I think probably when I was in your age group, um, I was, you know, probably overwhelmed with a lot of things. And much later on in life, I, I stuck by something and I always realized that we, um, we in our capacity regret, uh, do not regress, but only progress as we inch into very different stages of our life. Okay, so in different stages of development in our life. Uh, we do not re regress. In fact, whatever that we thought was impos um, impossible at one point of time, let's say I take your example, at the age of 18, you did went to very uh, tumultuous times. Okay, but that kind of shaped you for how to deal with your current life, what you are today. Okay, and, and for that, the same thing, what hap what happens today for certain things that you feel uncertain about now, okay, will shape you for a different set of things probably when you're in your 30s and the cycle continues, okay? But you can see if you look at, at a point of a graph, your graph is just progressing. It's not it's not going the opposite way, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So take it, take it, this, this, these are my, um, these are what my... Uh, ways of, of um, encouraging myself and uh, I believe that you know this kind of brought me to see things very differently and I hope that you know I can I can give that back to the community and and I hope that you can see that in yourself that you know you are you're doing nothing but getting yourself to a better place and you're doing a great job Thank yeah, you, you know? <laughs> yeah. So I wish you I wish you well I I know that you have it in you to to be a better version of yourself. If you see one of my quotes, and this is, you know, always be a better version of yourself. Yeah. You know, and today you are one version and tomorrow you'll be the better version of that version that you were yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Baby steps. <laughs> yeah, baby steps, but it gets you a long way. And you will yes, thank yes. yourself for getting yourself there, you know? Yeah, yeah. 2018 until now is like three years already, right? All baby, yeah. baby steps. But look Sometimes at where you have come. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. And you're destined uh, for probably much better things, you know, as you go along. So yeah. So keep it keep it that way. You are you are heading in the right path. And now even more so when you have all of us and the whole community and all the tools and techniques. So you have so much there, you know, all that knowledge and all that information is all there out to you. It's basically mm. how you manage how you use it to your advantage. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for helping me. <laughs> <laughs> so Gladys, I hope that uh, you have find it useful. Um, our coaches been sending you a lot of love and very practical advice as well. And uh, you know, so now we all realize why. Dr. Priya is wearing this T-shirt. So this is her <laughs> message to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what better way than to wear it? So, you know, like all the hearts are in full force supporting you. So the best the best thing about what's going on for moving forward is that you are no longer alone. You are now part of the Heart Asian community. And as Thank you can you see, you not me. only have you not only have coaches to support you, you have a community. Um, um, some of them show up today on Facebook Live to encourage oh, yeah. you, right? So you're yeah, no longer yeah. alone. So even if you stumble, which is guaranteed, it's part of the progress. So just be very patient with yourself when you stumble. Give yourself time. And when it's time to get up, get up. If you need to reach out, you know, you have this community, you can reach out to us uh, individually, privately, or you can just you know, um, post something in the group and, you know, for some answers um, or questions that you have. Uh, the, the community is here to support one and another. We're not doing this alone. We're doing this collectively together. So that is the power of all the hearts coming together to support one another. So what's moving forward is just going to be very exciting as everyone transforms and we do that together, right? Um, there's no perfection here. It's just progressing all of us making the choice to progress together i would like to mm. invite you on top of uh, writing your diary perhaps um you know uh, digest uh, process what happened uh, in this conversation that we had together and mm. maybe tomorrow watch the entire video again and then write in your diary what are your thoughts what 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 what, what came up for you watching this conversation again i think that might be a powerful healing tool for you as well moving forward mm. Mm -hmm. sure sure 
<laughs> okay, so being someone who has started on your journey, so well done on that. What is your advice for people who is now keen a little bit, uh, um, maybe we planted a little bit of desire for them. What would be your advice for them to start on their journey back to themselves, back to internal flow? You mean what they have to do to... Uh, what would oh. be your advice for people who wants to do what you have started for yourself? Mm, listen listen to yourself first law but that is not easy ah. like i said ah, listen to yourself the moment like when i drive my car i'm alone ma then uh -huh, all the thoughts like Leo. i'm like no no no, no i do i don't these thoughts okay listen music ah listen vietnamese song ah then the thoughts <laughs> <laughs> then the thoughts is like oh okay cannot cannot think about it but at night it will still hunt me down it will still come on at night then um First, my advice is join the challenge. Nah. It's not that expensive anyway. <laughs> you can afford it. You can afford it. And it really helps. Lah. Yeah. Touch your heart and listen. You must listen, really. Like like, like Dr. Priya say, baby step. Nah, I'm progressing. Three years already, I, I, I didn't look at it that way. Lah. I'm just like, oh, I, I did a big mistake. You know, like, I really like Dr. Priya. So, like, I'm not what I've done. I'm what I've overcome. Three years, it's not about what I've done. Yeah, like, the music is already there. And there is no way I'm able to, like, uh, say sorry to that person anymore. That person probably in a better place, happier, but uh, he maybe won't forgive me. But it's okay, lah. What I've overcome is I'm, I'm becoming stronger. I also wish the best for that person as well. Hmm. And I keep... Telling myself that, what if that person don't forgive me? Ah? For these three years, I've been struggling, you know, I'm like, but then, like, after this talk, right, this interview, I just realized that if he doesn't forgive me, it's fine because it's his choice. And also my choice to forgive myself, ah, really, I already forgive myself and it's already what I can do. You don't have to forgive me, what, what I can do, or I cannot do anything, ma. maybe ask him to join this challenge also. <laughs> <laughs> it's his choice like if he don't forgive then his heart still got like not not comfortable la. when you really make peace with a person la, like even if you meet that person you'll be okay one if you like feel like something something not okay maybe you haven't forgive completely law and that is my part la. my part is to forgive myself and forgive him and say thank you to him for his part i cannot control already la. Mm. So the advice is, uh, yeah, it, it is not sponsorship or anything. Uh, Hartation did not sponsor me to say this, but yeah, please <laughs> join Hartation. <laughs> it's really helpful. It's really helpful. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys, for the love. Uh, it's always more powerful when the challenger says uh, things like that versus us trying to get people to join us. So thank you. You've yeah. been a shining example of uh, the power of developing our own Hartation techniques, right? Um, you know, um, experimenting and deciding what's good for us. So um, with regards to this situation that you have with um, someone uh, from the past, um, my suggestion is perhaps you want to write a letter to him, say whatever that's in your heart, whatever that's left unsaid that um, making you feel stuck in some ways. Write a letter to him, um, knowing that you will never receive the letter, it's fine, right? Just with the intention, say whatever you want to say and then uh, let it be. I think you're already developing into a very powerful coach for yourself. Uh, you are already recognizing that um, I can only forgive myself and ask him for forgiveness. I can't choose his response, which is exactly right. We cannot choose other people's thoughts and action, but you are responsible for your own thoughts and action. So perhaps yeah. writing a letter would be a powerful action that you can take and then just finish the letter. You know, do whatever you want with the letter. You can burn it. You can keep it one, one side. And then move on with your life. It's done, right? It's done. Don't uh, don't let that hold you back because the person's life is complete. In, in, in yeah, but you're still here, so let the living live. Yeah. Does that mean mm -hmm. it's like a closure already? Once like I wrote it, I burned yes. it. It's like a closure. Oh. Yes. yes, it is a closure, and you can use Mother Earth um to help you have that closure. So um, you know the the element of fire is very powerful. Like with mm -hmm. fire, I can think of the phoenix, the phoenix having a rebirth without dying. Rebirth is impossible. The phoenix have to die 
for rebirth to be possible. So treat that letter as a um, um, phoenix, a, a symbol of death of this thing that should have died, should have been a closure a long time ago. But you can do it now. It's okay. Never too late, right? And then um, burn it. Of course, please burn it safely. <laughs> <laughs> burn it. <laughs> Please don't come back to and, and point to this video. She asked me to burn it. Burn it safely and then yeah, yeah. move on. That will be your river for yourself. This would be a gift that you can give to yourself. Mm, I see. Yes, yes. I, I have a question. Like, after I write my diary, do I still have to share on this live video? Oh, no. The, the diary is very personal, very private. Just for yourself. You're sharing it with yourself. So I still have to share again. Right, no, need, no need to hand it up. What you need to hand up, though, is the compassion playlist. Oh, Oh yeah, how are uh, how how do I hand hand, so, hand up to like, take your time, spend the next few days, what's on your playlist, what what's really uh give you that energy that you need that can nourish you, right? Create that playlist and then share it with us. So you know we can uh, check out your playlist too. Maybe it works for us as well, right? And then the play that playlist like don't just create it, use it. <laughs> the whole point of creating it is to use it. So we feel crap. We feel like ah, uh, you know, like uh, your your or when your inner critic can't stop talking, play your playlist. Yeah. Okay. Do I have to share it on live video as well? The the playlist. No, you just have to post it. You can post it. I will approve the post. Just share it in our community, and uh, we will definitely comment on your playlist. I'm so shy. I'm so shy. Can we like just create a group chat and and just like, post in WhatsApp? I'm so shy. Later they are like. What song is this, Gladys? Like, okay, the Vietnamese song is not some, uh, how to say, uh, it's, it sounds like a clubbing song. Okay, <laughs> okay Gladys, Gladys, stop. No one's going to judge you because now really? you're judging yourself. Yeah, stop. Okay. okay stop. Yeah. We are looking forward to your playlist. No one's judging. We're so curious what's going to be in your playlist. <laughs> No, stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Gladys. That's a wonderful advice. Um, you know, listening to yourself and uh, as you've mentioned, you know, invest just fifteen minutes in 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 your day, and that can really make a, a positive life change yeah. for you. So, any last words from our coaches, Priya, Kodia? Um, Gladys. Oh, sorry. Okay. <laughs> just, just uh, I mean, I think I've already said what whatever I needed to say, and um, you know, um, yes, the playlist is something we all very curious. Okay. Um, I think the reason behind that is just because um, I think we all have different ideas of how music actually uh, influences our thoughts, our actions, and behaviors. So um, it'll be nice because. Um, if it's not English for me, it's like I would listen to Bollywood songs. Okay, so that's my second choice or my second genre of songs <laughs> that I listen to. And and these are some of them are very sad, self-compassionate theme songs. Okay, so um, but the reason why I put my playlist was, you know, all those three English songs because I think it it relates more to the general crowd. But you know, if yours is the Vietnamese song or even even a Mandarin this one, it's fine. You know, it's fine because what works for you works for you. Mm -hmm. So you know yeah yeah so um the idea is just you know like we just want to know um how you um correlate or how it is in coherence okay with the way you think okay and the way you react that's all we want to know and want, want to see you know so, so who knows maybe it's like when i listen to those songs i might actually you know like i might actually pick, up, pick up on it and you know just Make it my song and add it to my playlist. You know, who knows? Or, or someone in the wow. community, hey, you know what? It works for me too. This song, you know, might be uplifting for me. So, mm -hmm. you know, Gladys, you you have that power to like when you share, you know, someone else picks up, picks up, um, you know, your energy and uses it to their benefit also. So, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's the whole idea of this. So, um, having said that, I just uh, once again I wish you all the best. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you are you. destined. For, for, for great things and even even more greater things you know in your future in your life so all the best my dear thank you thank you <laughs> same thing goes to you all <laughs> okay um, <laughs> I, I wish to say that yeah. although it has been uh, now today is the sixth day right although it has been six days for you 
but I could see the changes in you already. Your ideas, your thoughts, even your emotions, your expression. You have becoming more open in sharing your vulnerability and it's yeah. life. And it's life. That's very courageous of you. That's very courageous. And we, we are actually very moved. We are very touched. You trust us. You trust us that we will support you when you are vulnerable, when you are unsure. Yes. We are in a group of support and encouragement. We, yes. as our patient, we are to unite hearts and we are to light up, I would dare say, the world. And the world doesn't mean the entire earth. Think about it. In us, we have an inner world, right? That's an yeah, yeah, yeah. happening inside us. And when we are able to impact within us, whichever tools that you're using from Dr. Priya, from Joy, from, from my exercises, you are starting to change. You are changing your internal world. And when your internal world is changing positively, what will happen is that it will also start impacting your thoughts, your feelings, yes. your physical. And this in turn will reflect in your relationship, your connecting with people, your expression. So when your internal world starts to change, your external world will be impacted as well. So I would say congratulations okay. on this path of growth, you are on this path of positive change. And if you notice, I'm wearing this uh, butterfly. Yeah. <laughs> butterfly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Transformation. You are currently on a self-transformation journey. And you should thank not just us, the coaches, you should thank yourself the most for deciding to walk with us yeah you will, one day, you will one day break out from your cocoon and you will become a beautiful butterfly and all yes, over I want. <laughs> of you when you shine so bright and so beautifully mm. you just need to have faith in yourself and don't be too hard, be mm. hard okay gladys yeah, at first I was reluctant nah, when you asked me to join. I was like, do I have time for that? Will it be like one hour meditation or like 30 minutes? I won't be able to commit. But then when I, I just sign up for it first, lah, then like play by ear. Lah. And all the exercises are short, short, short. Good, ma. I can commit to it. Lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's also helpful. Oh, Thank you. Thank you all the coaches. <laughs> Thank you, Gladys. For your courage, uh, I think that we have all grown and blossomed uh, with our time together because of your vulnerable sharing. Uh, it's really heartwarming for us as well. So thank you for the gift of showing up and walking with us, together with us. Thank you to the coaches as well, Dr. Priya and Cordelia for sharing your wisdom. I think that it has been a really magical hour. Like as I say this, like the, the, the hairs at the back of my neck is standing. I think that we have a truly a great positive energy that we have generated together. So thank you so much. For those of you who is watching, thank you for showing up for yourself as well. Do comment and share what insights uh, did you get from our sharing and how, how did that relate with your own experience of the challenge so this is only the beginning we still have lots of challenge and other exercises that we are going to do together so thank you everyone have a happy weekend we're going to end this facebook live with our hartation pose hey, hey butterfly so nice <laughs> 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 okay, thank you all for watching. Happy weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.